Hello and welcome guys to this interesting session of .NET Core Web API. In this session, we are going to see how to implement logging or handling the error and exception globally. Before starting the session guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notifications. After completing, completing this session, I am going to upload this source code and I am going to give the link in the video description so you can check it out. So what exactly logging? The process of recording events in software as they happen in real time along with other information such as infrastructure details, time taken to execute exception and errors. We are going today we are going to see exception and errors. So logging provider store logs except for console provider which is display logs. So this is a, the brief description of logging. So we are going to code in Visual Studio with csr.net core web API to implement the logging system. So here I am using Visual Studio 2022. I am going to create a new project. I am using ASP.NET Core Web API. So application name is logging API. I don't need HTTPS or open API support for now. Click on create. So our web API application is created. Run the application to see what is exactly the output. By default it will come a weather forecast service. So there is some controllers and classes are there. Weather forecast controller and weather forecast service. The data is there. The model. This will fast time. So it is taking time. So this is our weather forecast. So this one is inside our controller weather forecast controller. Right? So this one. So let's throw an exception here. So here I'm going to give a message. Now run the application. So here you can see exception coming, some error occurred. Right? How to handle this? In normally we are using by like this in our traditional way by try catch. Right. So any exception will come, it will directly throw null. So in all the API, all the methods we need to write our try catch block. So you can see it is going to on title and coming as a blank null. So at that time what we are doing normally, we are writing try catch block in everywhere in all the API. Now we are going to modify it to globally. So I no need of try catch now. If any exception will throw now, I need to handle this one from my configuration. So go to solution explorer. Here you can see program.cs file. After the builder build the application, here we need to write our code in this session. So here we need to write app dot use exception handler. In the switch mm. 
going to write option dot run inside this so here we are going to write option dot run inside this here i am writing async dot context actually this run method take a request delegate so here context for http underscore we need to bring it from system.net for exception handler feature we need to get asp.net call diagnosis right so here building the up while adding to the pipeline or to the application pipeline here i am just adding above it one i am adding a using use exception handler it takes the option the option dot run it's this run method is takes a request delegate so here i am taking the async context and i am getting and i am enforcing the status code to internal server error so whenever this error will come so let's see run the application now i remove the try catch block and i am intentionally throwing an exception so you can continue some error occurred we we'll go to the console you can see inside the console you can see the complete error message but in the front end only the error message so this one also you can see by postman that only the status message is coming by internal server error but if i am not writing this one not giving any try catch and any exception is coming from my code how it looks like So continue. So you can see the exception is coming like this. Complete line number. So in production environment, you don't want to display the exception error like this. The controller name or line number. In production environment, you always want to display a, a useful message or useful status code, right? So for this, you can use this much simple line of code to. implement your global error handling or exception handling so you can see some custom messages some custom status code i'm going to show you this one here put inside my postman you can see i added internal server error which is 500 error my postman is taking time you can also add your status code bad request or bad gateway so let's go to status code internal server error and let's throw a unauthorized exception so let's throw on authorize access exception right so here previously i added some message now i am not adding any message i am just throwing the on authorize access exception so you can see it's coming throwing an exception so go to the browser it will throw unauthorized attempt to perform unauthorized operations right so in this way we can implement our global exception handling it is very simple if you want to know more guys so please give your comments in the comment box definitely i will look into this guys one more request to create a videos it will take much more effort if you like my video give me a thumbs up so that it will encourage me to do more video like this so i told you so let's put this one 
I am adding internal server error. Inside the postman also we can do. My postman is getting too slow. I don't know why. So my postman is getting too slow, guys. We will see it this one later. But yes, you can manage your starters code also. Is respective to your exception, right? Thank you very much. Sir.